going on 25 or 28 years ago now. There was no Irish studies within NYU. My late husband, Lou Glucksman, and I had an idea. And Lou, although he was a Hungarian Jew, loved Ireland. And he was a very active trustee at the university. So he set about looking at the possibility and the pragmatism of uh, whether or not we could do this. And it started officially in April of 1993. I'm John Waters. I'm the director of the Irish and Irish American Studies Master's Program at NYU. Unlike other Irish Studies programs, we're based with a foot in and a foot out of Ireland. So we are distinctive because we approach Ireland as a truly global culture and a global object of study. New York is actually an excellent place to pursue Irish studies. A steady stream of visitors is constantly arriving in New York from Ireland, and so we're able to capitalize on a, a really vital stream of Irish culture that, that um, continues to renew the presence of Irish cultural life in New York City. The thing I love most about Ireland House is the size. Um, you feel that you're really part of a community, even though you're in the hustle and bustle of New York. Um, you never feel like you're alone. There's something unique about this little place, and it is a little place, but it has the ambiance of a home. It's not institutional. People, when they come in here, feel like they've been welcomed into someone's home and for a purpose, and that purpose is to share and gain knowledge about the Irish culture and Irish-American relationships. What I love most about Ireland House is probably the events that we do and the relationships that we have with other organizations in the city. And you really get to kind of expand your horizons and realize all of the different Irish um, historical and cultural and arts events that go on in the city. We have welcomed people like former President Mary Robinson, Bono, Nobel laureate Seamus Heaney, New York writer and journalist Pete Hamill, among many others over the last two decades of Luxman Ireland House. It incorporates almost every single part of Irish culture that uh, you can get. It's not just Irish history, it's not just Irish literature or language or culture or music, it's a little bit of everything. And it's not just a singular study of one culture, it's a study of how a culture is born out of being on the edge of Atlantic trade or being a part of the world, and we study the world by studying Ireland. I studied the famine and I learned so very much and being able to sort of bring that out and be able to speak to it and share that with my children and a value is born by that. Let's be grateful for what we have. Let's remember where we come from. I think when you give to a place, it changes your relationship to that place. It increases your interest and your desire to make it a better place. You give that and you're committed and you want to make sure that it's not wasted. Ireland House is, in my mind, a work in progress. When Lou and I had the idea a long, long time ago in the late 80s, we wanted it to be very academically rigorous, but we also wanted it to be a place that would welcome the community and because of the magnificent people that have been in this house for 22 years, it's worked, it's a miracle.